In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to create these beautiful hero sections for your website. So the first one here is a dark version. And then the second one here is the light version. Now, what you see when you take a look at these is contrast. Now, it's very, very easy to read when you get on this one here and also when you get to this one. So this technique is very important in web design. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create these on your own websites right now. So when I create hero images, I like using the full width header. So let's go ahead and add that. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, click on full width and I'm going to choose a full width header. Okay, great. So we can start off now by going in and customizing our text. So let's start here with our heading text. So this one here is going to have a dark background. So we need to make sure that our text here is uh, bright or white. So let me start by adding my font. It's going to be Poppins. Let's make it bold. And um, yeah, let's keep it white. Great. So let's, let's go on to uh, the paragraph text. Again, I'm going to choose Poppins. Select it, increase the size a little bit. So I think 18 will do. And then we need to also add the line height. Great. So for the button here, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now let's go into our layout. So we can decide either to have it centered or not centered. But the most important part here is to have it as a full width. Okay, great. So this is going to cover pretty much our screen. Now let's go back over here to content. And let's go to background. So this is where all the action is going to be. So let's start by adding our image here. So I'm going to click on this plus button. Now I already have my image. And for this example, as I mentioned, we're going to use the dark version. So I'm going to select my image here, upload. So as you can see here, the image is uh, clashing with our text here. It's very difficult to read. And this is not what we want. So to improve this design, what we need to do is to come over here to gradient and let's click here on uh, this plus button to start adding our gradient colors. Okay, so I'm going to start here with my first color. It's going to be black. And then my second color is going to be transparent. So right now, nothing has happened. That's because we haven't placed this above the image. So I'm going to go ahead now and place this above the image. And you can see now that it's starting to apply onto our image. But we're not done yet because our gradient here is starting at the top. But ideally, we want it to start on the side here so our text is easier to read. So let's go ahead and fix that. So first of all, we want to come over here to our gradient direction and set it to 90 degrees. So now you can see it's over here. Now we can start playing around with our start position. So as I'm dragging the slider, you can see here it's getting darker and darker over on this side. And you can play around with this as, uh, as uh, many times as you want until you get the right uh, desirable look. So over here on this side, I prefer to leave it here with full transparency because it's always nice to see what we have over here in terms of uh, what's on the hero image. Okay, so this may be a bit too much. So let me just uh, dial this down a little bit. And over here on the gradient as well, you can go in and just bring it down a little bit until we can see just a little bit here in the image. Okay, so I'm going to uh, extend this as well, like that, to about 37 and add a bit of transparency like I did before, just like that. Okay, great. So our text now is much easier to read and we also have an idea of what we have on this page. So the next step now is to come over here into design and let's go into sizing. So this is where you can adjust our content width. So I'm going to drag this until I'm pretty much happy with um, the width. So let's go with 60 because we want this text to be over here on the left. But this is very tricky because if you don't have it set correctly, it won't look nice on mobile devices. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the content width on our tablet. So here, I think we might as well just drag it all the way to 100% because our image area here is much smaller and ideally we want to see all the text. Let's go now to our mobile. And again, here on the mobile, I think that'll be fine at 100%. But here's the thing. Over here on the mobile, the image here does not look great and uh, because there's only a very little space to show it. So you can actually go in and uh, set a solid color on the mobile device. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to content, go to background. So over here on the image, I'm going to click here and choose my options. So I want to go to my mobile and then making sure I'm on the image tab, I'm going to delete that and add a solid color. 
and that is what it's going to look like on my mobile device. So if I go back to tablet, you can see here my image is still there. And then on the desktop, again, it's still there. Okay, so that's my first example. Let's move on to the next example. Now remember, contrast is very important in our designs here. So again, I'm going to click on this plus button and add my full width, full width header. So this time, we are also going to uh, add our similar design. Now let me show you a quick tip on how you can go in here quickly and add the styles. So I'm going to right click, copy module styles, and then I'm going to right click and paste module styles. So pretty much we have a duplicate of what we have here on the top. But all we have to do now is to go in and change our image. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. Come all the way down here to my background. Click on my tab here. Delete this image and add a new image. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And my image here is going to have these grapes. I'm going to upload my image. And right off the bat, you can see that this looks really nice like this. I mean, sometimes different images may look better than others, but I think this looks really, really nice. So what I'm going to do now is to invert this. I want to change my uh, colors here to black because we're going to use a light background. And for contrast reasons, we won't be able to read this clearly on a light background. So let's go ahead into my button settings here. And for my button text color, I'm going to set this to black. All right, great. So now that I have this all set, I'm going to now come back over here to my content, go to my gradient. And over here on my gradient, instead of having black and uh, transparent, I'm going to have white and transparent. So I'm going to select my color here. So right away, you can see that my uh, color has been added. And I have this area now where it is much, much easier to read. And I still have detail over here as to what product I have here on my main hero image. So you can also adjust the gradient. Let me go back in and adjust it because I still want to see more of these grapes here. So let's scroll down and go to our background gradient. And to adjust that, we need to come over here to start position. So here I'm just dragging it back and I can still read my text. So I can go down as much as about 16% and still be able to read this. Okay. But make sure as you're designing, uh, it's just going to depend with the image. So some images may need a bit more uh, work, but some images may be good right off the bat. So this is the best way to have your hero images look great and also have great contrast. So it's easier for visitors to your website to read. I also have done a review of Divi. So please go and check it out. I'll leave the link on the end cards. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Want to save time designing websites? Download my free SiteMaker Divi template. It has a header, footer, a 404 page, and also buttons, text, headings, all pre-designed for you, giving you a professional working website right from the get-go. It is very easy to customize. It's 100% free. Link to that in the video description below. And if you haven't bought Divi yet, get 10% off when you use my link in the video description below.